Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are the 12 books that I will hopefully be reading next month in January. This is my January TBR for 2024 and I have some plans. We'll see if they stick because I have always have these grand plans of what I want my content or my writing to look like in the new year. Sometimes they stick and sometimes they don't. So we'll see if this one sticks. I'm hoping that it does because I think it's a pretty good idea. I'm a big mood reader, okay? But sometimes I need a guideline or a list or I won't pick up anything because I'm like, I don't know what I'm in the mood in. So I won't pick up anything, but I, I need to pick up something or like I'll get slumpy. You know what I mean? So I've made kind of like a guideline for me to follow every month when it comes to my TBR. I have 11 prompts here, but I'm gonna talk about 12 books because one prompt has two books in it um, that I'm going to try and follow in every single TBR video and hopefully we'll actually read these books every month. I read way more than 12 books in a month. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be reading more than these 12 books, um, but I wanted to pick up books that I've been wanting to read for a while that I sometimes forget about or sometimes get pushed to the wayside when I don't want that to happen anymore. Let's get into these 12 books. The first prompt, I call them prompts. I don't know, a challenge, I don't really know. But um, I every month I wanna read a book that has disability representation, at least one book that has disability rep. So the one that I picked for January is Razor's Edge by Mila Crawford. All I know is that this one has epilepsy representation. Our hero and heroine are from rivaling families as well. And um, the hero's dad is the like leader of a motorcycle club or something. So there might be like motorcycle stuff in this one, which would be interesting. But I do know the only like scene that I know about this one is I think the first time they meet, she has a seizure and um, he helps her like through that, which if you don't know me, I absolutely love caretaking when it comes to disability, chronic illness, conditions, whatever the case may be, I am obsessed with caretaking. So like, I just wanna read about that scene, honestly. Um, and I've never read a book, a romance book that has epilepsy representation. So I'm trying to read more rep as well as just reading more disabled voices. You know, I'm trying to read more representation as well. So if you have any epilepsy representation books, leave them down below. I'm very interested in picking those up. The next prompts I have is a book from my Kindle library. So every month I make these ebook hauls full of free ebooks that I downloaded a month and I never read them because I forget that they exist. Like if I don't see them, they don't exist in my brain. <laughs> so um, I am going to challenge myself to at least pick up one book from my Kindle library every single month. I feel like that's very feasible even though I download like way more than just one book a month. I'm, I'm at least making making some headway. You know what I mean? So um, the one that I picked for January is The Tyrant Alpha's Rejected Mate by Kate C. Wells. This one was all the rage a year or two ago where a heroine and hero are like wolf shifters and she finds out that they're fated mates, but he doesn't believe her and he rejects her in front of everybody. So she's like, sayonara, like, see you later. Okay, I'm not gonna be with you then. You rejected me. And then I think he like figures out, oh crap, that's actually my fated mate. And he's gonna like grovel his butt off or something. I love a man who gets on his hands and knees and grovels his butt off. like. Yes. And so I need to read this one. I know I've been wanting to read it for a while. I downloaded it for free so long ago. I don't remember when, but I've heard great things about Casey Wells. And I actually have a few books on my Kindle from her that I got for free that I've never read. So I need to pick up one of her books. And I've heard amazing things about this one from my friends. My next prompt is a book from my physical TBR. I actually don't have in my collection, honestly, I don't have that many books that I own here that I haven't read yet. Gonna be honest, because I normally buy books that I've already read. So there's less than 50, which I don't think like is a lot, right? I don't think it's a lot. There's less than, less than 50 physical books that I have not read yet on these shelves behind me. We're not gonna talk about my historicals, please. No, no, we're not gonna talk about my historicals upstairs. Like, no. <laughs> Um, but when it comes to this shelf, there's actually not a lot, but I still want to make a dent in them. I still want to, I still want to read them, you know, like I have them for a reason. The one that I picked this month is The Hitman by Katrina Jackson. This was the Hello Lovely Box special edition. They had like a trope of the month. I think it was Mafia. This is a Mafia romance. I know it does say it's the second book in a series on Goodreads, um, but I think I just want to read it. Like I don't, the other one, the one before this doesn't really appeal to me as much as this one does. And also I just have this one physically anyway. So this one's about Zara and Guilio. I do not know how to pronounce that name. I am so sorry. G-I-U-L-I-O. Correct me in the comments, please. Um, anyway, so 
Zara ends up catching her fiance cheating on her. And so she goes on the honeymoon by herself to Italy. And I think that's where she meets our hero. And I think they like meet in Italy, they fall in love, but then she gets like roped into his mafia lifestyle. And I assume he's a hitman based on the title. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like stunning. And um, I need to read more Katrina Jackson books. I think I've read like one or two and they're always so hot and fun. My next challenge every month is to read a historical romance book. And um, I'm specifically picking up ones that do not have audiobooks available to me because then I'll have to like physically read them, which is what I want. I want to physically sit down and read a historical romance book because they're so much fun to me. And on top of that, I wanna read one of those books every single month and I'm gonna be vlogging, doing a reading vlog, a dedicated reading vlog for the historical romance that I pick up and it'll be a dedicated vlog for my channel members. So every month my channel members um, are gonna be getting a dedicated vlog of me reading one of these books. I post a video every single week for my channel members. That's what's gonna happen in 2024. They get a dedicated video. So one of the weeks, every single month is going to be me reading a dedicated historical romance book. Um, just talking about that historical romance book. Right now I'm reading a Johanna Lindsay, my first Johanna Lindsay. That's what's gonna be the first one, the first historical dedicated vlog for 2024. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I can't wait to read more of it. And I'm so excited I came up with this idea because I just get to gush about historicals that I am obsessed with in a vlog. Like, I love that. Um, and it's gonna be only for my channel members because I know that not everyone loves content like that, but I love making content like that. So why not just make that a member video? So um, if you're interested, you can join my channel memberships down below. Um, but anyway, my pick for January that I'm gonna be reading in January and then the vlog will be posted in February um, is going to be Yours Until Dawn by Teresa Medrios. Med Medrios? Medrios? I think it's Medrios. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like horrible at pronunciations, but look at this stunning step back, y'all. I'm obsessed. I think my friends have like read and loved this and I believe it's a... Um, historical retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And I know that the disability representation in here, our hero in here is blind and our heroine is like his nurse and it's gonna take care of him. So I've heard fantastic things about this one. There's no audiobook like on my Libby for me to listen to. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to like actually sit down and read a book. So you can look forward to a vlog about this book in February. My next prompt that I'm gonna fulfill no matter what every single month is Libby books. So this one has two books in here because there are two books I definitely want to read that come in for me on Libby in January. The first one is Wild Card by Karina Halley. Karina Halley actually has a cowboy romance. So I was like, yeah, let's do that. I really enjoy Karina Halley's books and I love cowboy romances. So sign me up. Apparently this is a second chance romance with I think a man named Shane and a woman named Rachel. They were like childhood best friends. Um, and maybe there was something as teenagers and then something happened and they're not together anymore, but he's always pined after her. And it takes place on a ranch. Sounds super fun. I haven't heard anybody talk about this Karina Halley book. So let me know if you've read it and you love it. And the other one that I have on Libby that's coming in is Mafia Mistress by Mila Finelli. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book from my friends. Um, we were talking during the novellathon about how I'm gonna read this book pretty soon and they were all so excited for me to read it. And I'm so, I'm even more excited that they're excited for me to read it. <laughs> um, this is a mafia romance where our heroine is um, arranged to marry the son of this like mafioso man, but she ends up falling for the dad instead. So sounds messy, sounds fun. I know that this is like the first, in like a duet about the couple. Um, so I assume this might end in like a happy for now or a cliffhanger, I don't know. Do not tell me, don't tell me, I wanna know. I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know. I wanna go into it blind, <laughs> um, but I'm in the mafia romance mood. So I think that's why I have a few on this list. I'm like in a mood, if you couldn't tell. My next prompt that I would love to hit every month is to read one of my favorite authors backlist. Read a book for one of my favorite authors backlist. So. This one is one I've been like holding off. This is A Five Minute Life by Emma Scott. I got this beautiful special edition from Book Bonanza. She had this here um, and I've been dying to read it. My only issue is like there's no audiobook, so I'm gonna have to physically read this one or get it um, on Kindle Unlimited. I don't really know which one I'm gonna do yet. Our heroine is an artisan here and I think our hero works at the sanitarium she's at. I don't really know what's gonna happen, um, but I need to read more Emma Scott and this book is absolutely gorgeous. One prompt that I would love to hit a month is to read one book from a series I love to continue reading in because there are series I need to 
I need to finish, I need to continue on. So um, in December, I think I ended up reading Heat Haven. I can't remember if it was December or November, but I think it was December. Anyway, I read Heat Haven by Sarah Blue and I do wanna continue on with the series. Um, I wanna read more Omegaverse books in 2024. And so the next book in the um, Heat Haven Omegaverse series is Omega's Obsession. This cover, so fun to me. And I know a lot of my friends like love this one. And I think this one's an MF. Omegaverse book and if it takes place at Heat Haven like the place that book one took place in I think I'm gonna have so much fun I don't know anything else other than the fact it's Omegaverse and Sarah Blue and stuff because the first one is kind of like why choose where there's like a bunch of guys who want her those aren't necessarily my favorite I kind of want everyone to be together you know what I mean um but that wasn't really the case in book one so I think I might like this one more because like everyone's together in it so my next prompt is really fun every month i want to read a book from an author i've never heard of before and a book i've never heard of before so like author book i've never heard about before i've never seen my friends talk about it i've never seen it online like i just want to look at goodreads look at the rating see if the rating's good i want to do at least four star rating like over four star rating i want to like set myself up for success you know um so i want to have a good rated book from an author and a book like i've never heard of before so I saw this one and I was like, why the heck not? Okay, this one is The Realm of You by Amanda Richardson. The heroine's name is Marlon and one night she wakes up in a bed she's not familiar with next to a man she does not know. She's like, what is going on? And she's also in like a small town that she's never heard of on the complete opposite side of the country. She's like, I am so confused. Where am I? What is going on? And I think she spends like the day in this small town getting to know her fiance, this man she's never heard of before, never, doesn't know. Um, and then she ends up waking up in the hospital the next day, back where she's like from. And so Marlon is intent on going back to that small town and finding that happiness again. She doesn't know if it was a dream, if it was like the future, she doesn't know what is going on, but she decides to move all the way across the country to that small town that she found herself in for a day. Hopefully find her fiance again. This sounds so interesting. I've never heard anything like it. It sounds like there might be some like magical aspects in it. Sounds super cool. My next prompt is to read a hyped book. I have a really hard time picking up hyped books because I'm afraid I'm going to be disappointed. Even though sometimes hyped books end up being my favorite, sometimes they don't. But I want to challenge myself and pick up books that I think I will like that are also hyped. Okay, um, this one is The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. I love nanny romances, but I do know some of my friends don't like this book. Um, but some of my friends do. It's like one of those polarizing books to some people. All I know is that this is a nanny romance and that's it. And I do want to read Lana Ferguson's books. I know she came out with, I think like a werewolf one. Um, that seems really cool, but I want to pick up this one first and I have the audiobook on Libby for me to listen to. So why the heck not? I hope I like it. Can you tell I'm nervous? I'm not good with hyped books, <laughs> but I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna do it because I do feel like I could love some of these hyped books. I just get in my head about them. My next prompt is to read a 2024 new release that comes out in that month. I have a whole entire January 2024 new release romance video like I posted a few days ago. And so I do wanna read a lot of those books in there. I know realistically, I'm not gonna read all those, but I wanna at least read one of those new releases a month, at least one. So obviously in January, the last book that comes out is House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Mass. So I'm gonna be probably reading a large chunk of that the day it comes out, which is the last day of the month. I'm not gonna be finishing it, obviously. Even though I have done that before, I have read a whole Sarah J Mass book in one day for a new release. I have work, that's not happening anymore. I'm an adult woman now, I unfortunately cannot do that anymore. I did that like back in college <laughs> when I could just skip a class or two for a day and just sit down and read a thousand page book in a day. I can't do that anymore. Anyway, this is the next book in the Crescent City series. We're all dying for it. But that doesn't also mean that I'm not gonna be picking up new releases that are in my new releases video that came out. Um, Cause I'm gonna be reading some of those as well. I just don't know yet which ones. I know for sure I'm reading the SJM one, so. And then my last prompt is to pick at least one monster or alien book to read. Um, just because those make me so happy. Like they're so much fun to read. So like, I'm like, I need like a good fun, book that I know I'm going to really have like a great time reading. So this one's going to be Rolling Sick Band by Victoria Aveline. This is the latest book in the Clickanian series, book number seven. I actually got an arc for this book before it came out. Like, when did this come out? Oh goodness. It came out in August. I haven't read it yet. I'm so sorry. This book was fairly long. It's like 400 pages. I want to 400 something pages. This year, 2023 was a really, 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 really hard time for me reading eBooks. And so I just, I ended up not reading the arc and I'm so sad about it. But I'm still gonna read it regardless. I love this series, it's an alien romance series and I've seen the fan art for this book or like the art that Victoria Aveline commissioned. 
are you joking? Like it's so good. They're so good. So I, I need to pick this up. I need it in my life. I love this series. And if you want to read good alien romance books, pick up this series by Victoria Aveline. I don't know what it's about. All I know is like what the hero looks like. He has like these black long tattoos on him or something. And it's like a king maybe. There's like one like picture that I saw on her Instagram where she's like sitting in his lap and he's on a throne. If you're gonna make me or like entice me to read your book, all you need is a picture or a drawing or tell me there's a scene of the heroine sitting on a guy's lap on a throne. I'll pick that bish up like so fast okay anyways so those are the 12 books that i will hopefully be reading in january and i hope you like this style that i'm now going to be implementing into my tbr videos i kind of want to make it to where i can like have variety in what i read but also read books that i think i'll really enjoy let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and what book you're really excited to read in january i would love to know but if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me what emoji are we gonna do? We're gonna do like any painting related emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.